One thing to be aware of is that there are issues uh, associated with collecting blood samples for trace uh, metal analysis as well as analyzing those samples and specimens for trace metal analysis back in the laboratory. It's called trace metal analysis and the emphasis there is on the word trace. This means that they are at low levels, uh, oftentimes at the limit of detection in the normal population. Therefore, uh, the collection of that specimen is highly susceptible to environmental contamination. There are appropriate procedures that need to be followed to ensure that in the process of collecting the sample, whether it be a blood sample, whether it be a serum sample, whether it be a urine sample, that the sample itself is not contaminated with trace elements in the environment or trace elements that are oftentimes present in the uh, blood collection tubes uh, that, are being, that are being used. So, so the solution to this is to use a standardized protocol for the individual who's collecting the blood to be following a protocol where they're aware that they need to be following a standardized protocol and aware that what the sample is going to be being used for, which is trace metal analysis. Um, regular blood uh, collection tubes are grossly contaminated with, with trace metals, including cobalt and chromium. The stoppers that you know, many of us are, are, are aware of or have some experience when we go into labs to have our, our, our blood tested, the stoppers on the tops of those uh, vacutainer tubes to which the blood is drawn in, those contain pigments that contain uh, both cobalt and chromium. So the solution is, is that you can have, there are available uh, what are called trace metal free uh, tubes uh, to which the blood sample uh, needs to be collected into. There are also steps and procedures that the phlebotomist, the person drawing the blood, ought to be following uh, when, they're, when, when he or she is collecting the sample uh, from a patient uh, intent, where, where the intent is to analyze that sample for uh, cobalt and chromium. Now the same thing goes through to the integrity of that sample as it leaves, you know, after the patient gives the blood sample and that leaves the, uh, the doctor's office or the phlebotomist's office and goes on to the lab for, for testing. The testing has to be done in a lab that is as, as uh, uh, certified and has standardized protocols to, to measure low levels of these ions um, um, in, in their laboratory. Our standard protocol, for example, we do it too. We, do, we, have, them, we have them draw two tubes of blood, the first tube and the second tube, and we only analyze the second tube. And the reason for that is that the, um, the, the stainless steel needle that, that's used to draw the blood sample can have metal contamination. So the thinking is, and the standard appears to be, that if you draw the first vial of blood that you're flushing out the needle, and then the second vial won't be contaminated by whatever was carried over from, from the needle. I would tell them to have a conversation with the individual who's collecting their blood sample and ask that individual if they're aware of all of the precautions that need to be taken in collecting a sample for trace metal analysis. So in other words, you know, standard practice is to collect that sample into a trace metal free tube, to, to not allow that blood sample essentially to touch any materials, uh, whether it be a syringe or a butterfly needle or something like this, where uh, the opportunity for trace metal contamination is, is introduced. So there's a standardized protocol. It's not a typical blood draw. There's a standardized protocol that needs to be followed, that takes precautions for uh, ensuring that environmental contamination does not occur uh, when the sample is being collected and then when it goes on to be analyzed at the laboratory. Uh, and, and so I, I think simply having a, a, a conversation to ensure that the person taking that blood sample is aware of that and then if they're not aware of that, then, then that individual needs to be educated as to what the issues are. <laughs>